Hello everyone and welcome back to Hemeldown Model Railway. So in today's video it's all about the new scenic section that I'm working on. So without further ado let's crack on with the video. So I've just started work on what will be the section for the signal box. What I've done is just a plaster bandage over a piece of um, packaging and what I've done here is to slope with a bit of filler uh, down to uh, the edge of the track here and then I can sort of detail that up with some muds and stuff and then I've left a few little sections just in here so that what I can do is just have a little bit of a retaining wall put in there just made out of some card and then I'll be able to put some point rodding detail uh, to do these points in this section here and then what I've done also is the same on that section I'll just build off a little bit of a wall uh, blend it in and then this can be for the point rodding that will go on these sections here. I just think it will give a little bit more detail. What I'm currently doing now is to work on uh, this section here. So I'm gonna build up a little bit of a, an embankment that will slope up, up into where the castle section will be. And then this bridge will look like it's coming out of uh, the hillside. I'm gonna brick paper uh, down uh, the length of this so it just looks like a retaining wall that's holding back all of that sort of cliff face and stuff and then I will put a little bit of a kind of iron girder that will go across uh, this sloped section here and then a wall above it so then that will kind of tie in this piece here that there's a, a road that's going to come out through here I'm thinking of having a little bit of a level crossing just where some cars that will be doing for the engine yard some sort of trucks and stuff will come out through here and then as you can see the lorries there and then just thinking about a road that will sort of stretch down through into this section here so i've got loads of uh, packaging and stuff uh, just from bits and pieces that i've saved up over time so i'm just going to use a load of sort of junk stuff just to make all of the detail in here and start to get uh, the blended part of the road in I'm also now uh, working on the bridge supports. Um, hopefully I should have some bridges soon to be able to get those in place and sort of tie up this scene. I'm still halfway through doing some of the templates. So I'm doing a template first in card before uh, sticking um, some plaster card over the top just so that I get the right shape. And then I can start sort of blending all of this in as one piece. So I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, sort of speeded up versions of stuff, bring you back in with a few clips of progress and uh, I will speak to you all soon. So I'm just making this little embankment area on this section here. Uh, what I've done is just to put a little bit of um, three mil ply across the, the side here and then this will be kind of uh, brick papered and then a little bit of brick paper in there. Uh, this will be um, a little walkway with um, some little fencing just across the top here and then I can have some people that are probably doing some sort of photographing and stuff uh, for this bit of the layout here. Um, kind of inspired a little bit on uh, a section that you could see at the Bluebell Railway. Um, so when I visited there with Mark from Stanover, we um, sort of sat along uh, the side of this uh, fence uh, being able to watch the trains pass and stuff. So I'm just gonna recreate a little bit of that sort of uh, scene uh, just along here. So there'll be, like I say, a little pathway, a little bit of a fence and a sort of a sloped embankment that will go down here. So this is just um, the basic structure of it in there. I've just used some card. I've got a sort of little bit of wood underneath there as well. Um, and then I'll sort of plaster bandage over that and blend that in to this scene here. So sort of looking down from, from this sort of scene here, you'll see that it sort of, uh, looks like it's all been sort of cut in and stuff.
good and then also you know, doing some sort of uh, running shots from stuff on the side here as if you know being one of those uh, photographers and stuff on the side I think it will uh, look quite good in the distance there you can see that I've just um, started making a bit of a, a rock face uh, that's going to be plaster bandaged up as well I've just used some copy decks just to uh, kind of sort of blend uh, sorry uh, use some copy decks to kind of sort of stick that all together uh, so that's just drying up in the corner and then I'll uh, plaster cloth that as well and then I think it gives a nice sort of view of the bridge or what will come out of that sort of cliff face and then the trains disappearing off uh, through the background there. So once I've got all of the sort of basic structures in there, I'll then be um, now linking up uh, this sort of top part of the layout and then I can start work on some detail for the castle scene and putting in the road and stuff all up in there. So yeah, I'm cracking on quite a lot with all the base structures and then once the weather warms up, I'll get into doing a lot more sort of uh, detailing, you know, static grassing, getting all the ballast down and stuff where the drying times will be quicker. Because um, if I start doing them now, it's going to take sort of three or four days before I can move on to the next project. So I'm just doing all the big, all the big jobs so that I can then sort of get them painted up over time and just sort of kind of take my time with it and sort of develop the scene as I go along. Right, so I'm going to crack on with a little bit more and uh, I'll bring you back in a moment. So that's the embankment all plaster bandage now and uh, towards the back where you see the little bit of plywood uh, that's what will be a wall so I used a ruler just so that there's a little gap so I can poke the paper down and then I'll put some very fine sort of bushing uh, just so that if I am doing any kind of uh, running shots from there uh, it will just look like it's a wall in the in the distance there um, and then I'm going to wait for that to dry and uh, give that a layer of uh, brown paint. And uh, yeah, this scene is starting to uh, come together now. It's uh, nice to get some sort of basic shapes on there with a track in there and stuff like that as well. Um, so I'm feeling pretty happy and uh, confident that all the big structures are done. Right, let's look at what else I've been up to. So just in the background here, you can start to see I've just started to make uh, the Wills uh, water tower. So I've just put the first layer of paints on there. And I've just got to now make, sort of make the top up and stuff like that as well. But that's uh, another little addition to the engine shed area. I'm going to put some more cork uh, down in this um, centre section here because obviously where it's raised on cork here, uh, it does mean that the engine sheds at a little bit of a slope there and the same with this one here so i'm going to sort of gap up a little bit of um, cork just into this section here and then i'll probably be raise a little bit of cork up on this side here just so that when i ballast it um it will kind of i can sort of slope down this sort of section and have this all at kind of one level here as well um and then what i'm going to do is uh, build a retaining wall uh, just along this edge and then there'll be a load more sort of scrap detail of uh, bits of locos and cab ends and old bodies of uh, locos so i'll have some sort of wheel sets and stuff in here and some old detail that's just been put to the side there and then also um, a little bit of sort of scrappage and maybe some huts and stuff up in this back corner here so I've added in the cork to these back pieces here, just using a few items just to um, 
stick them down. And whilst waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna crack on with some other bits. So what I've done here is just to use some uh, polystyrene. I've just made up a few layers of uh, plaster bandage over it, just to kind of give it some rock shape. And then what I'll do is go over it with some filler and pick out some sort of rock detail uh, ready for painting up. That piece there is uh, the piece that's in this corner here. And what I've now started to do is to cut out a card template of what will kind of be a retaining wall. I'll put some sort of capping stones on there, line it with brick paper, and it will look like it's sort of holding back all of that cliff edge as if it's, uh, you know, they've made it a bit of a, a cutting for all of this bridge tunnels when they put it in. And uh, yeah, they're sort of holding back all the rock face and stuff like that in that corner. So this is the rock structure that I just showed you, uh, roughly put in its position just while it's drying. I'm gonna use this card here to build off a little bit of a retaining wall. So it'll have another little sort of step piece, uh, how it is on there. And then that'll just be brick papered in. Uh, once it's um, had its layer of filler over it, I'm gonna do the same effect as what I've done uh, with these rock faces here and just kind of blend it to match and look like it's uh, part of this one continuous piece just down on this section here. But I think it adds in something nice, it kind of uh, cuts off uh, the support of that back section there so you can't really see it. And then it'll be quite nice that I've got the view of uh, sort of trains disappearing off under and around the corner there in the background. And uh, it's really blending in this section quite nicely. So I've now just added a layer of raw umber over the top just to kind of seal it all in. And then what I can then do is to start with some of the track weathering uh, because I use a grey acrylic, uh, sorry, a brown acrylic uh, on the track just to sort of tone down uh, the black and make it more look like wood. It doesn't really matter if I get any of the brown on the... Uh, the overspray on these sections here because this is where you know there'll be all the sort of static grass and um, scatters and stuff to make all the embankments and bits for this section here so it's a little bit better than all of the uh, sort of white plaster bandage and uh, now I'm just waiting for this little piece up in the back there to dry and uh, I've started making some more templates uh, for the corner uh, just to get all the plaster, plaster card done. So what I've done here is just to put um, a layer of plaster bandage over the section that I want to make the road. I've then put a skim of filler over just to kind of smooth out. So this is kind of where the car park area will be. There'll just be sort of a couple of spaces and it will be kind of fenced off in and around this section here. And then a sort of maybe a look a little bench or something here and then a fence just on this section um, and then the road will sort of snake its way up and onto that section there so I'm just going to wait for this bit to dry and then um, I need to paint it up and that will probably be, be in the next update where I start to do some of the detailing for this board as well. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of progress on the layout so far. I've just been able to squeeze in a little bit of time just to get some of the structures done. And hopefully for the next uh, video, I'll be moving back over to this side of the layout to carry on with some of the detailing work. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to all the subscribers, uh, to all the new people that have joined me recently, and to the people that follow me on Patreon as well. So take care everyone, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.